anyway, we're going to go off in a different direction. We're going to go Champions League. Speaking on Virgin Media Sport last night, Graeme Sooners gave his take on Liverpool's midfield. On the football in midfield. And, and, and that be obvious, that's obviously how the manager sees it. That's why he tried to send three new midfield players. Yeah. They don't have enough, you know, someone looking that way and passing it there. They don't have enough of that. They've got real industry in there, Ronaldo, Milner and Henderson, but they don't have that real quality when it matters yeah. at the highest level. Well, they struggled, in all honesty, uh, the Liverpool midfield. Verratti, I thought, in the first half was outstanding. Marquinhos played as a holding midfielder, but covering midfielder, defensive, and was everywhere. And I suppose the, the argument with the Liverpool midfield is he's tried to change it in recent weeks by playing two of them, and Shakiri is a 10, or Firmino was a 10 at times, and I was at Watford on Saturday to, to watch them cruise to a 3-0 victory, but they never got out of second gear, Joel. It was yeah. just relatively comfortable for them. And the, there was a couple of things. The midfield, most certainly... Again, people will go back to that. But he likes playing a 4-3-3 where they're full of energy. They're able to compensate for that front three, not always tracking back. In particular, mm. Mm. Salah from, from that right side. And at times, Alexander-Arnold looks like he looks vulnerable because he's got literally doubled up time and time again. Gomez last night was, was very shaky. The shakiest I've seen him in yeah. probably this season. Uh, and the other area where it was very, very evident in the first half, the contrast between the two front threes... PSG's, now Neymar does my head in. He was an absolute numpty at times last night, especially in the second half. And that's why he won't get to that elite level of the Messi, the Ronaldo bracket. Mbappe hopefully will, and he's probably touching distance of it. But the, what they did on the turnover possession and how devastating they were yeah. without service, they didn't get lots of really good service. Ferrati probed and gave them balls in decent areas but what they did for the second goal taking it 10 yards inside their own half and producing that individual brilliance mm. when you flip it and you look at Liverpool's front three they're not doing that this no. year and that's what Liverpool were built on last season yeah. I mean Souness says it there it's not a footballing midfield John Giles has regularly said in here if there is an issue with Liverpool it's they don't have a footballing midfield so they are reliant on the front three doing amazing things and clicking together and if that's not happening then they do tend to look far more ordinary than you might expect. Mm. 